You can tell a lot about an institution after six decades. The strength of hope that sustains it in good times and rocky ones. The depth of gratitude to the people who fought for it and led it to a place of peace and safety. St. Narses Armenian Seminary was born in hope. For Armenians who had settled in America in the 20th century, after enduring genocide, the Depression, and war, their ancestral church was a source of consolation and pride. New Armenian churches were taking root across the country, and Archbishop Tiran Nersoyan gave voice to a vision of the church as a permanent fixture in the new world. The real remedy, he said, is to have our own Armenian seminary in America. Today, that early hope has been realized in physical terms in the seminary's tranquil campus in Westchester County, New York. But the path to get there wasn't always a smooth one. Though the seminary has been located in other places, the Armonk location is the 21st century campus for us today and for the future. There was a time where the future of St. Nersa Seminary was in question, and it needed a champion. Uh, and that champion proved to be Khajak Sarpazan, who uh, gathered with him a group of like-minded individuals who had faith in, in the mission of the seminary and who were willing to uh, give it what it needed in order to continue to today and into the future. Khajak Sarbazan fought for the seminary and for its place and mission in the North American dioceses. Creating the hopeful spirit is not easy, especially when we face challenges. With that hopeful spirit and with the participation and the support of many people we were able to overcome challenges and open a new chapter for St. Nurses Armenian Theological Seminary. A new chapter, and more recently, a new era of leadership under a generation of Armenian clergymen produced at St. Nurses. In a way, Paniel Tsukbazan is the perfect example of what St. Nersas' work is and is meant to be. And that is to produce leaders and to produce teachers and to produce pastors. And this one example of a St. Nersas graduate has gone on to be the leader of the Eastern Diocese. St. Nersas has been very much a part of who I am for many years. We, I believe, in the Armenian Church in America, in our diocese specifically, we have a great responsibility. And St. Nersas, in all that it does, in its rich, deep-rooted tradition, leads the way in that endeavor. The seminary's record is still unfolding, but none of it would have happened without the commitment of its supporters, men and women, clergy and laymen. Thanks to that foresight, St. Nersus stands as a place that elevates the Armenian Christian heritage while adapting it to the needs of our time. St. Nersus is the one institution in the West where Armenian spirituality lives, takes on the colors of the culture that surrounds it without losing itself, and thereby becomes something unique. Our day starts with prayer in the morning and it ends in prayer at night. We're brothers for life because we know we can rely on each other in good times and in tough times. St. Nersus Armenian Seminary was born in hope and it is nourished, strengthened with gratitude. Gratitude to vision, determination, sacrifice, generosity, faith, the gratitude of a people descended from saints and martyrs, a people committed to a higher calling. 
There's more that God has called us to do as Christians. It's pushing us ahead, it's challenging us, it's making us look beyond our comfort zone in the Armenian church. We are here and we will continue being here as a church and as a people in America. You can tell a lot about an institution after six decades. In this age of spiritual emptiness, St. Nersus has proven itself as a place where your spirit is filled.